Hi everyone, welcome to TT's Food Prints. And pardon me for my hoarse voice because I have a very bad throat. Today's recipe is the ultimate time saving hack vegetable quiche or tart with a custody egg filling. If you're bored of having sandwiches for lunch or would like to have a tasty, classy recipe with the least efforts, then this is your go to recipe. If you're new to my channel and this is your first visit, hello and welcome. I do post such simple and interesting recipes every week. If you enjoy watching, please do subscribe to my channel. For the pastry dough, make a well in the center, add salt, egg yolk, water, mix it well and then add in the butter and just combine everything together. There is no need to knead the dough. If you are hard pressed for time, you can definitely cheat here by getting this store bought pastry dough. Once the dough comes together, just wrap it in a cling wrap and place it in the fridge for half an hour. Once the dough is ready, we will start to stir fry some vegetables which will be used for the filling. You can use any vegetables or proteins for the filling. If you have a time crunch, use vegetables that can be stir fried within minutes. I have used some olive oil and sorted some garlic, spring onions and then added vegetables like broccoli, mushrooms, uh, some shredded chicken, spinach and some shredded cabbage. Use any flavoring of your choice. As I like mine spicy, I have used chili flakes, thyme, oregano, salt and pepper. Now that the first two parts are ready, we will start with the custody egg filling. For this filling, the egg is beaten up with creme fraiche. But since that is not easily available over here, you can substitute it with sour cream. If you don't have sour cream, there is a cheat for that too. Just mix together hunkers and fresh cream. Beat the eggs well, add in the sour cream along with salt and pepper and your custody egg filling is ready. Now we will get our tart shells ready. With the dough that I had prepared, I could make two tart shells. The remaining two can be stored in the fridge. To prepare the tart, I have used an 8 inch tart tin with a removable base. Dust the work surface and roll the dough into a nice round with a 10 inch diameter and 4 to 5 mm thickness. Do not worry if it cracks from the edges because it can be joined later. Grease the tart tin and gently lift the pastry dough and place it within the tin. Once 
Once placed, press it down and into the corners first and then lift it slowly and fill up the sides. Now you can join any split edges and also cut off any excess that is remaining. Prick all around with a fork and add in the vegetables first. Spread the vegetables evenly and press it down a little, leaving some gap for the custody egg filling. You can garnish with chunks of any cheese of your choice and to make it more flavorful you can add any pesto. Bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for 40 minutes. While this is baking in the oven, you can get done with other pressing jobs. This can be prepared fresh and had for dinner or can be stored in the fridge and carried for lunch the next day. As the start is heavy because of the filling, it has to be lifted very delicately. This recipe is not only yummy but healthy and nutritious as well and will keep you going the whole day through. Do try this vegetable quiche or tart and enjoy it with your loved ones. My mom enjoys this dish whenever I make it. If you enjoy watching my videos and find them helpful, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new notifications. Also, do share them with your family and friends. Thank you for watching and meet you soon in my next one.